What is normal? Like in the United Coin States. 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 Coin it was true for Vietnam in 1969. It was true for Afghanistan in the 2000s. And that's the case for Ukraine as well. The Ukrainians, at least the majority of Ukrainians, don't want to see like NATO troops, the US troops, uh, fighting uh, our war. It doesn't create peace. It doesn't spread democracy. And it doesn't boost the economy. It only destroys property and lives. As libertarians, we stand against Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine as if he were playing a board game. For a lot of people, it's only uh, a sign that he may be, be crazy, really crazy. But we also stand against foreign intervention. Ukraine is a sovereign nation, not a puppet for those in both Russia and the West who miss the Cold War. We don't ask uh, uh, Americans uh, or NATO soldiers to fight our war, basically. What, do you, what we only ask to is to help us diplomatically. The law of unintended consequences is a monster, even more so when it comes to deadly force. The period after the American Civil War is considered by historians the nadir of race relations. World War II? Yes, Hitler and the Nazis had to be stopped. But how many subsequent wars and millions of deaths resulted from the supposed legitimacy of U.S. intervention? We like war because we're good at it. And you know why we're good at it? Because we get a lot of practice. This country's only 200 years old and already we've had 10 major wars. We average a major war in this country every 20 years, so we're good at it. We can bomb the shit out of your country, all right? And in Ukraine, the violence during the Revolution of Dignity in winter 2013-14 created an opening for Putin's propaganda machine to justify an invasion of Crimea. That's why everything happened in Crimea and in Donbass, because uh, Russian propaganda made people believe that some angry Western Ukrainians will come to their land and will kill them. So that was the first argument, and the argument about that we need to protect Russian-speaking citizens. As Ludwig von Mises wrote, only peace can lead to prosperity. Anti-NATO doesn't mean you have to side with Putin. Pro-US doesn't mean you should support yet another costly, deadly intervention. War, in all its forms, is wrong. I think the, the end product of all of this is just to create a chaos everywhere, just to divide people for, for two sides. 